We're gonna walk to St. David's today. We actually came here in summer last time, so a bit of a different season this time. It's November at the moment. We're staying in a little cottage, which I will show you later on, just outside of Solva. And yeah, it looks really pretty. It's really cozy. Mm. and ready to go to a different part of Pembrokeshire today. We're going to go have a walk along the coastal path again and take in some views like Stax Rocks and St Govan's Chapel. Whilst I'm just waiting for my contact lenses to settle in, I've just put them in. I thought I'd just show you around this lovely cottage we're staying at now. So as I mentioned before, it's just outside of Solva and near to St David's as well. I think it took us about an hour or two to walk to St David's yesterday, although we did zigzag quite a bit. It's in a very tiny village, maybe even just a hamlet called Carfarshell. I'm not sure if I'm butchering that pronunciation, so I will put it at the bottom as well to show you how that's spelt. It's a really quiet place, really lovely as well, and this cottage itself is called Old Taylor's Shop, so it's got some history behind it as well. I'll leave a link below in case you're interested, but yeah, just to show you around. The front room has some stone walls which are just gorgeous, really nice, warm and cosy. We were saying yesterday that we're glad that we stayed here in winter because it just has that cosy feel when we can put on the log fire and you wouldn't get that sort of feel coming here in summer. Coming into the kitchen, as you can see, a big space so actually four people can stay here if they wanted to. Nice little courtyard as well. We brought, um, well David brought his telescope with him so we tried to do some stargazing last night but uh, the cloud did come over but we're going to try again tonight. And finally the bathroom is to your right and there are two bedrooms upstairs. Just a really lovely stay. Not sponsored at all, just wanted to show you it. <laughs> So yeah, like I said today, we are driving, I think it's south uh, Pembrokeshire to see those bits and walk along the coast. I think we've got really, really lucky with the weather. Yesterday it was nice and clear, very sunny, you know, you could see all the sights, it wasn't too windy. And today might be the same, so fingers crossed. <laughs>
day today so we're just packing up to leave our wonderful cottage we got in last night feeling really tired after a couple of long walks over the last couple of days and we just put on some logs on the log burner which was really really cozy we don't have one at home so we're definitely going to miss that when we go back but yeah just a fleeting visit this time to Pembrokeshire Wales and it's just made me realise how I should consider Wales as a, a place to travel to more often because it really is beautiful. We've been so lucky with the weather as well, so really feeling thankful for that. Really enjoyed St Govan's Chapel yesterday. We had it completely to ourselves with great weather. Like I said, I just I bet in summer we would not have been that lucky. So really kind of glad we went at this time of year because everything was quiet, there wasn't any crowds, even restaurants you didn't have to book in advance as well. So yeah, November is a good time. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video by giving me a thumbs up and if you want to see any of more of my adventures, then don't forget to subscribe before you leave too. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I'll see you in my next video.